Today, on the memorial of St. Francis of Assisi, we reflect on listening. Listening to the word of God, but also acting on it. St. Francis himself heard his vocation. He listened to the voice of God within the comfort of his family. He was coming from a, a rich family. Within that comfort, he heard the voice that called him to live an exact opposite life, to embrace poverty. He didn't just listen to that voice, he also acted on it. He abandoned all his wealth, he abandoned the comfort of his family, and went and embraced what God was inviting him to live. Poverty for the poor, poverty for the kingdom of God. In today's gospel, Jesus is saying to Martha that Mary has chosen the good portion, listening, and no one is going to take that from her. Do we listen to the voice of God in our lives? Sometimes the voice is very tender, such that if we are not concentrating, we're not going to hear it. Because there are also many other voices that come into our ears. There are many voices that draw our attention. And so, without listening carefully, we're not going to hear the tender voice of God. Every day of our life, God is talking to us. He is instructing us. And if we're not paying attention, we're not going to hear that voice and certainly we're not going to act on it. Jesus says listening is important and it is the best portion because it is only after hearing the voice and listening attentively that we are going to know what God wants us to do. If we don't hear the voice, if we don't listen, then we're not going to be directed. We're not going to be guided by God. We pray that we may always give the best part of our life, the best time of our life to listen to God. Because God is constantly talking to us through the people that we mingle with, through our family members, our friends, and through many experiences of our lives. God is constantly communicating something to us. We pray for ourselves that we may listen attentively, just like St. Francis did, that we may not just listen, but also act on the instruction that we are receiving from the Lord. Today we end the season of creation. The past one month, the church has been celebrating the season of creation that started on the 1st of September. And it ends today on the 4th of October, being the memorial and feast of St. Francis of Assisi, the patron saint of nature. But the church continues to invite all of us through the intercession and guidance of St. Francis to take care of our environments, to take care of nature. Because if we don't take care of nature, nature will begin to react to us. And you know what happens when nature begins to react? Humanity begins to go into extinct because we totally depend on nature for our survival. And therefore, we pray also that we may have a good and positive attitude towards our, our environment. Because this place, this earth is the only home that God has given us to live, to experience his love, and to participate in the mission of evangelization as a Christian family. Amen.